So welcome back to The Ripple Effect. I'm Jake. I'm Shelby. And I'm Lauren. And this week we are playing True Confessions with none other than Father Will Schmid, the pastor of St. Mary Magdalene. Father Will, welcome. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being here with us. Oh, my Thanks pleasure. This is going to be awesome. Hey, welcome. We're glad you're here. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. So just so everyone knows how the game is played, um, we have two envelopes here, right, Father Will? Mm. Um, Two. Number one, number two. One envelope contains a truth about you. One contains a lie. Um, we're going to pick an envelope. Father is going to read what is written inside. We will have 60 seconds to interrogate him to Ooh. find out um, whether it is actually true or false. Mm. Then at the end of that time, we make a guess and find out the truth. Okay. Makes sense? Okay. True confession. So awesome. let's set us, ourselves a, a 60 second timer here. All right. And yeah. what and number are you guys thinking? I think two. Should we go two? First yeah. is the worst, second is the best. Sure. All right, number two. Number two. Two. Number two. Number two? Okay. To this, uh, two. Right number two. This number two. Right here. two. All right. Okay. okay. Number two. Here we go. Number two reads I was once almost stranded in the country of Guatemala. In Guatemala, mm. stranded. Okay, Almost o'clock. stranded. Almost stranded. In Guatemala. Okay. When were you there? I was in there a summer of 2000 and, hold on, it was eight or seven, I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay. 2007, okay. 2007, because I was a deacon in 2008. Okay. So it was like your flight canceled, or was this like... No, I was almost left behind. Like I almost missed the bus from the school, the language school, to the airport. Who abandoned you? <laughs> Well, we uh, when I woke up when I woke up that morning, um, I woke up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom, and the clock, the power had gone out, so the <gasps> clock was flashing, and we were supposed to pick up a van ride from the school at six o'clock in the morning to take us to Guatemala City, and I had no idea what time it was. Maybe. So what did I do after I yeah, found yeah, out? Yeah, that's okay. a great How question. How did you respond? Well, first of all, I had already turned in my key to the house, so once I left. You like, were locked out. I was locked out. So I had made a judgment decision to leave. To leave. To leave the house. I grabbed all my stuff and I walked. And I got all the way down the street towards the school. And I saw some guys working on their car, which I thought was kind of weird. But I said, okay, I'll, uh, I'll ask them what time it was. Nice. And, it, and they told me it was 2.30 in the morning. Oh, Oh, man. so you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and hid, and there was this little cubby area by a church around the corner, and I hid in that cubby. From 2.30. Yes. Until I started to see the sunrise a little bit, but again, I didn't have a watch, right? right. right. And no cell phone because mm. it's Guatemala, and this is before smartphones, okay? Mm. Yeah. So before I smartphones. before yeah. smartphones. Imagine that. Right. Imagine. So no, I that I saw a real. lady walking by. This is too detailed. This a lady walking detailed. by, and I asked her what time it was, and she told me it was six in the morning. And I walked around the corner, and there I saw one of my buddies trying to convince the van driver not to leave, but to, to give us you. a couple more minutes. Yeah. Wow. That's the story. So you have to ask yourself, is that a true story or a false story? Hmm. There's, here's my first thought. <laughs> That's a lot of detail. There's a lot, There's a a lot, lot of, of detail. detail. Which to me, I'm like, oh, then it's convincing. Yeah, it seems plausible. But yeah. I'm like, maybe too much detail. <laughs> like a cubby? That's like, oh, and I hid. Why would, working on their car? In two Were the they morning? really working on their car? Is that? Hmm. But, but why would he make that part up? You know? Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say I think it's true. Okay, you yeah, think it's true? I think it sounds too real to be false. I don't know. I just feel like Father Will's a very prompt person. Mm -hmm. He's often, almost always on time. He would be wearing a watch, always. No? Right? I feel like... <laughs> 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 He's very adventurous though. Yeah. So I feel like that And that, responsible. So he would he would be like, shoot, I gotta go for I have to get out of this house at two in the morning. Yeah. Right. But you can disagree. You, yeah. You say true. Maybe he wanted to stay in Guatemala and get and stay there forever. I would Maybe want to it's stay a in semantics thing. Alright, I say I say false. Okay. I say that false there's so. no way. That's not real. False so. Okay. It is false. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> So the story is true, but it wasn't me. Oh, oh. you're a sneaky, 
Tales. It happened to I Father it. John Parks. Oh, no. And I was yeah. the seminarian trying to convince the to driver wait. to wait. I know you. I know you. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's awesome. I knew the story had to be real, but but it didn't sound like Father William. Man, good discernment. Yeah, thank good you. Job. Wow, thank look you. at Keep that. Five. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So okay. that was so good. That was yeah, great. that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. For the sake of it, you've got to tell so us. You, you, you want to hear the truth? <laughs> yeah. Tell yeah, us the tell, truth, Father. Tell us the true story. All right, what so here's the true. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I once performed the Napoleon Dynamite dance at a sports bar. It was a Friday night in the seminary and we were going out. It was my first year in the seminary and we went to <laughs> just a sports bar to get some burgers and to hang out. Uh -huh. And they had, uh, you know, one of those jukebox playing and uh -huh. the Jamiroquai's Canned Heat, which is the song, started playing. Got it. And I said, oh, hey, I once did the Napoleon Dynamite dance at a Life Teen, uh, you nice. know, talent show. Obviously, yeah. And uh, they didn't believe me, so I just just got up in the middle of the sports bar and started doing the <laughs> dance. Did you dance? A uh, couple questions. Do you still know the Napoleon Dynamite? I do Dynamite? not know it. I do uh, not know it. I didn't know it. Any, it's right. Right. Yeah. Some of this, this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it has been, that was 2003. So okay. it's, been, okay. it's been a long time since What was that. the reaction? Well, yeah. In the uh, people went nuts. Yeah. People started clapping and cheering. Like other people I didn't even know Got saw it. me. Next time on the ripple effect. Next time on the ripple effect. <laughs> no, you no, bad no. <laughs> Father, well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank for you. This yeah, episode great great joy. Awesome. 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 This has been True Confessions with Father Will Schmidt, everybody. Uh, make sure to subscribe for weekly videos, and we will see you next week.